as i've told you that thompson was the one who who made an uh, this thing effort to explain the structure of atom but somehow he failed due to few drawbacks as we have done in thompson model so the second attempt was made by rutherford so what he did he 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 gave his model he uh, he gave his model of structure of atom by performing an experiment that is called as rutherford scattering experiment so for the experiment he took an apparatus so first of all i want you to know what the apparatus actually is that is shown in the figure see we are going to study that so he took the lead block as i've told you that lead is inert we have done in radioactivity as well the lead is inert it is used to keep the radioactive material because it is inert towards the radioactive material and in it contain the radioactive material as you know that radioactive material is that which has the tendency to emit certain kind of radiations alpha beta and gamma out of those three radiations alpha uh, radiation was made to pass through this lead sheet this lead sheet contain a hole in it so as to obtain the fine beam of rays then he used the the sample he used for his uh, experiment was the gold foil the thin gold foil and around it was a fluorescent material screen see look you know what is fluorescent material screen we have done in few experiments back also fluorescent materials fluorescent screen has the ability to glow whenever any particle strikes it it produce scintillations the colorful patterns we did in the previous topic also as well so and the most important property of this screen was that this screen was movable now what is the purpose of taking a movable screen so we take this screen as movable so that it can capture the maximum deflections which are occurring when the alpha particle strikes the gold foil we don't want the rutherford uh, didn't want to miss any of the deflection that is why he took the screen which is movable so that it can move and capture all those deflections taking place so can so he can know what the kind of the deflections it can produce when the alpha particle strikes it and then this figure is showing the uh, observation when he uh, passed the alpha rays through the gold foil so on the atomic level what happened this figure was showing it so now we'll be doing in detail see he again uh, we are starting with the topic again see the lead block this is the alpha particle getting emitted thin foil these are the deflections which are produced this is the movable screen which is capturing the, those deflection so see what happens when he passed the rays he saw the following observations few rays pass straight without any deflection see you can look in the first figure these rays are passing straight even this is passing straight this is passing straight this is passing straight so maximum of the rays pass straight the other observation what he observed was that few rays suffered small deflection you have seen this small deflection and few rays were encountered the large deflections and you will be surprised to know that the few rays retrace its path they turn back they undergo a such a strong deflection they retrace it their path so it leads to the it leads to the conclusion after the performing experiment seeing the observation it, this uh, experiment made the rutherford to conclude following facts that is he found that because maximum of the rays pass straight that means most of the space in atom is empty i repeat most of the space in atom is empty and as he saw the deflection small and large deflection that means the alpha particle actually encountered some dense body the, which leads to the deflection in them whether the deflection is small or large but they hit some dense concentrated mass rutherford called that dense concentrated mass as nucleus and he uh, he told that this nucleus might be present in the center because the deflections were very few and uh, moreover the deflections like out of you can say the 10000 rays only the few rays got deflected that means that mass is concentrated in a small area so i he made the conclusion i am repeating the second conclusion listen to it carefully that according to him the small dense mass is located in the center that is called as nucleus the third observation what he saw that few rays retrace its path it was shocking that there was a, such a strong deflection that the rays retrace its path 
it showed that this this kind of deflection or repulsion you can say can happen only between the charged particles so this the, this observation lead to the conclusion that the nucleus might be positively charged because we know alpha particle is positively charged so when a positively charged particle was approaching the positively charged nucleus that that's the that can be the reason that it got deflected it suffered such a huge deflection that it retraces its path so these were the observations and the conclusions as i've told you i'm listing it again just listen it carefully observation was many of the rays pass straight few were deflected through small and large angle and few retrace its path and the conclusion made by the rutherford is that most of the space is empty in the new in the atom there is something in the center of atom a dense concentrated mass located in the center occupying a very small area and he called that mass as nucleus and third nucleus is positively charged because it few rays retrace its path so it made to the conclusion that nucleus is positively charged so this whole uh, the observation and the conclusion uh, made the uh, rutherford that he he was possible it was possible for him to give a model according to, uh, based on his experiment so he gave the rutherford model that is c so according to him that rutherford model resembles the solar system according to him the rutherford model a uh, structure of atom resembles the solar system like we know the in solar system the center contain the sun so similarly in case of atom he said there is in the center is the nucleus and as the planets revolve around the um, sun in a definite path so he said accordingly the charged particle is revolving around the nucleus in a specific path so the rutherford uh, said that the atom consists of two part nuclear and extra nuclear part nuclear part which is a nucleus and extra nuclear part which comprises of electrons moving at very high speed i repeat he said the electrons the negatively charged particles are not stationary they are revolving at very high speeds so this is how the rutherford was able to explain the structure of atom